what is it like to be a bat? Now, this is an interesting question because bats are so different from us. They are mammals like us, but in many ways their lives are unrecognizably foreign to our own. They sleep upside down, but more importantly, they navigate through their dark caverns by emitting little shrieks, and then their extremely sensitive ears pick up on the echoes from that, and they figure out the three-dimensional structure of the world in which they're flying. And they can do this with terrific resolution, such that they can catch a flying moth just with this echolocation in the pitch black. So, in 1974, the philosopher Thomas Nagel wrote an essay by this title, What is it like to be a bat? And it quickly became one of the most famous thought experiments in modern philosophy, because it challenges something fundamental about one of our intuitions. He suggested that no matter how much we study another being's brain or behavior or sensory experiences, we can't ever truly grasp what their subjective experience feels like from the inside. Nagel's proposal was that there's something about subjective experience that's just not accessible from the outside. So essentially he said, look, even if we had the most detailed scientific account of the mental processes in the bat, even if we could write down every neuron in the bat's brain and exactly what the activity is doing and even point to the genes involved and we could model the way that echolocation works and simulate the bat's behavior perfectly, still we wouldn't have answered the question what it is like to be that bat. And this is the problem of the subjective character of experience. It's not about behavior or function or brain states. It's about what it feels like to be a conscious creature. And that what it feels like quality, this is what we call qualia, the internal experience of something. Now, qualia turn out to be really tough for science. Why? Because science aims for objectivity. It tries to strip away individual perspectives so that we can find truths that are universally valid. But conscious experience just doesn't cooperate with that. Consciousness is defined by perspective. It's the one thing that can't be fully described in third person terms. There's no outside view of the inside experience.